Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Leo, you guys got Otter Spirit in reverse. You are never alone. You have a lot of sixes out here. Six, six, 26, and then a ten of pentacles. I think that you're confused about something that's going on with a partner. I don't know if you guys just had like a breakup, because this could mean a breakup that's coming up in reverse, but you're confused about it. And I feel like it's making you feel a little bit unstable. It's making you feel a little bit like, I think it might be actually surprising to you, like why you care. Let, let's see like what stage this is in. Cause like for some of you, I feel like if you just met this person, you're like a little bit like, why do I care? You know what I mean? Like, I can't believe I'm like so into this person so quickly. And then for some of you, I get um, like more of a long-term situation that's ended. So let's see what's, what this is about, Leo. So yeah, Leo, I think, I think this is more for somebody who's met somebody recently. Like, I feel like this is more of a recent relationship than a past relationship or like, you know, a situation that's lasted like for over a year, you know, years and years and years. I don't really think it's that. Um, for some of you, it could be, I'll be honest, like it could be a long-term thing. Um, but I'm getting for those of you who've had this person in your life for like a very long period of time, you should already know what to do. Like this shouldn't really be a question. It shouldn't really be shocking that you feel alone without this person. That's what I'm getting. Like if this is somebody that you've known for a while, this is somebody that like you in a kind of situation type vibe with them, like you're not a hundred percent sure. Um, like that's what you say to people, that's what you say to yourself. But the reality is like the longer you've known this person, the more sure of what you should do, the more sure you should be of what you should do, okay? Yeah, I'm just getting that heavily. Like I feel like if you've known this person for a long time, then like you already know what's gonna make you happy and what's not gonna make you happy. You already know what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. So for some of you guys, I feel like this is like, it's dumb that you don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of dumb that you like keep questioning it. Like sometimes, the answer's like right in front of your face and like you shouldn't even be on this read, to be honest. Cause like if you've been with this person for over a year or two years, you know if like this is your person or not. Like you should kind of have that hint. I'll be really honest with you guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like really, really like, um, brunt yeah like I can't even speak today it's blunt I said brunt <laughs> it's blunt but it's the truth now if this is somebody that you kind of just met right I'm, I'm gonna be talking more to those people because again if you've known this person for a long time then you should know what to do already okay that's just like done now um if this is somebody that you just met I think you're like in between like not knowing what to do with this person, not knowing like what where, what you should do. That's what I'm getting here, especially with the three of pentacles. Like obviously there's like something about, you know, wanting to create with them and want like thinking about it. Like you have you, this, you see like this person and you have potential basically, right? So um, I think where the confusion is coming from and where this like loneliness is coming from, I think it's like one of shock that like, you care so much about this person so so quickly. I think that's like a big thing. I said that in the meditative session. Like, I think it's a little bit of a shock when you know you just meet somebody and they like affect you, right? Because like sometimes we date, you know, we're, we're dating for a while and like you just haven't met the right person. But I kind of feel like this is the right person for you, to be honest. Uh, especially with the ten of pentacles coming out here, um, that's somebody like you can create with for a long time. You know, like this is somebody you can have, you know, grow, you know kids with and get married to and with heaven and earth i also see like it's a good it's a good match especially next to healing right so i see a lot of good things in this relationship for you leo i see a lot of good like energy for long term okay like long term is all here especially with like ten of pentacles three of pentacles and the heaven and earth like very good energy okay very good energy for your, this person and you the only one I think doubting this is you, which is weird. Like, I don't even, I'm not really getting it's them. I'm getting more, it's like, it's you. Like, you're the one that's not sure. You're the one that's like, mm, I, I can't decide. 
Um, I think the reason that you're having difficulty deciding on them, Leo, is because maybe something again like that happened in the past like it's going to be one of those basic reads but it's the it's the truth like healing is coming up here next to the four of pentacles i feel like you guys are holding on to something here from the past and it needs to be let go of because you're not seeing things clearly perceptions in reverse so you're not seeing this the way you should be seeing it um yeah it's kind of reminding me of the people who are like I don't really know like the people who, who are in like situationships for like years now um it's it's kind of like you didn't do the healing and the answers were all there the, like the energy to work with this person was there and you didn't do the healing and now you're just confused as to like why this person has left your life that's what i'm getting for like long-term people it's like oh why did this person leave well maybe because like you didn't know what you were doing <laughs> you know what i mean maybe because you weren't healed um and that's why this person has gone if like i definitely feel like someone's gone and then for short term for if you're dealing with someone that you just met i think you're like not putting a lot of energy into it because you're not sure and you're like a little bit hesitant and you're kind of like giving this person the wrong message about you like i think this person is starting to think like oh i guess leo doesn't really care about me i guess Leo doesn't really like me i don't i guess leo doesn't take me seriously you know what i mean and i thought they did but like now they're kind of running away so i think leo this has to be I think like the reason that this is happening is not because of them it has like nothing to do with them I think it has a lot to do with you and where you're coming from and I think a lot of you guys have dealt with shit in the past and you guys have like maybe you blamed it on healing like you or maybe it's like your cop out at this point like oh like yeah well this happened to me in the past and that's why I'm so fucked up like ha 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 like it, it's not an excuse anymore Leo that's what I'm getting especially with healing up right it's like I think you guys have done some sort of healing and also like time just heals people you know what I mean like um yeah time's not gonna like really fix the situation but like yeah with time he you know everyone gets a little bit of healing with time as time goes by things become less fresh and things become easier to like move past right that's just an automatic thing with time so imagine like putting energy into healing and having a lot of time elapse that's a lot of promise for this healing of yours to take place and actually be effective and i'm getting for a lot of you guys like it's not okay to like use this cop out anymore of like oh well i'm not healed or all oh, this person in the past hurt me and all like yeah we've all had people that have hurt us We've all had people that like have, you know, lied to us, cheated on us, whatever. But the fact of the matter is you have something brand new here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And if it's not brand new, it's old. But again, I already kind of spoke to people who like this is old energy. If this is new energy, it's like you have a lot of potential with this person. And I don't want to see you guys like throwing it away because of something that happened a long time ago. Like, yeah, it sucks that sh bad shit happens to us. And it sucks that like we have people like hurting us at some you know we've all been hurt but the the point of the matter is like it doesn't really matter to this person because this person didn't do anything they're innocent so they're coming into the situation really fresh and like wanting a lot from you and you're the one that i feel like it's like i don't know what to do you have the book here which is telling me like you should know what to do that's why i was kind of harsh because it's like you should know what to do at this point so leo let's pull a little bit more i know this is like a tough love read but like it's the reality So Leo, you are coming up, you and this person are coming up king and queen of wands, okay? So you guys are coming up as a true pair next to the Hierophant. Again, a lot of good energy, a lot of potential between the two of you, a lot of like possibilities here. Heaven and earth is here. You could have a lot with this person. That's what I'm getting. You have, you can have maybe everything with this person. And I feel like a lot of you guys are not seeing straight because of like this cop out that you guys have made for like, I don't know how long it's been this like excuse of yours for a very long time of like oh well i got hurt and oh this happened to me and oh you know this person was so bad to me like they fucked me up for the rest of my life like i can never trust somebody again i'll never be with somebody again like these words that you say to yourself like i'll never and it's just like you know like i can never like like it's making it so what's the word you know you're not leaving any room for anyone to come in with, oh, I will never love again and I'll never trust again. You know what I mean? Those are like very um, big words to say to somebody. And I feel like that's what you've said to yourself. So maybe you've never told this person that, but you've said it to yourself to such a point where you actually like believe that. 
and it's it's causing a problem the world is here to say like a cycle has been completed whether you want to accept it or not that energy is from the past and like it's not going to help you in moving with anybody forward if you're like oh well i'm never loving again so like again where's the potential for you and this person if that's the mindset that you have right like it's it's pretty toxic of yourself to do it to, like you're doing it to yourself basically right so again you guys are coming up as a true pair you guys have all this potential and then there's this like cop out of that you're doing and like ace of cups is in reverse like i think you're just moving away from this person because you don't really see yourself in a relationship ever again type vibe like that's the, like that's like what you keep saying but the reality here is like i don't think you want to be alone forever leo and i don't think that i don't think it's i think you can move past the past i think you can heal i think you can you can make tomorrow anything that you want it to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't, it can be anything that you want. So yeah, I think that your future can have, can be as bright as anybody else's. You know what I mean? And even in love, even after all the shit that's happened, I think it is. it has the potential to be anything that you want it to be. You have heaven and earth here. And even though you may not know how it's going to be possible, like how is it going to be possible that I meet somebody and trust somebody again even in your mind if that's not if you think that's impossible start saying like affirmations to yourself that are different than even what you think like some of you guys are like i'll never love again i'll never trust again i have all these issues guys you have the youth here at the bottom of the deck for a reason exactly with the ace of wands that's for a reason the youth is somebody if you think about the youth think about like a teenager right uh, I'm thinking like Romeo and Juliet, right? Like they love each other, they'll die for each other, and that's that. And it's just very simple. It's there's nothing complicated about it, right? And for like older people, once you've been through a lot of shit, you're like, wow, these people are so, you know, they're naive. It, it, it doesn't have to be that complicated. You know what I mean? Like they can just kind of finagle something. It doesn't have to be like to death, you know, we'll die for each other. It doesn't have to be that serious. But that's what the energy that they want you to get into again, right? and they're giving you that opportunity with ace of wands and i really feel like this person that they're placing around you this queen of wands they're putting them there to help you to help push you right they're pushing you guys along the way and i think it's just very difficult because again there's a lot of things that you say to yourself like i'll never be able to do this again and who am i gonna have a relationship like that again with and is it even possible it is possible guys it is possible it is possible even though you don't know how it's possible even though you don't see it being a possibility for yourself i'm getting it's definitely possible it's definitely like <laughs> it's 100 percent possible guys okay anything is possible and i think you guys are the ones limiting yourself so i think affirmations would be really good and saying to yourself you know like i can love again i will love again i will have this connection that I had with somebody else in the past. I will have heaven and earth in my life. I will trust again. I will be able to open up again. I will be able to do all these things again. Trust me, you will. You definitely will. And if you put that into your mind, guys, then yes, I think you will be moving forward into this Ace of Wands the way that the divine wants you to. But if you don't and you choose to stay in the past and you choose to keep putting yourself into like this um, mentality that, you know, it's just not possible then i think again you will lose this opportunity so i think it's really up to you i know this was like a tough love read but i just really don't how do i explain it <laughs> i should be coddling you and just being like oh my god it's okay guys and i know a lot of readers do that but i honestly think you've been coddled enough <laughs> with this um four of pentacles i feel like it's just it's like ripping the band-aid off like we have to start again at some point we have to just get going at some point it's never going to be easier the more time you wait it gets harder um and that's kind of what i'm afraid of for you guys like it's just going to get harder and harder and harder the more time come, like that goes by and i think you guys know that i think you guys see time going by and you're just like wow well i haven't dated somebody in this long and i haven't you know and it's like don't let time keep slipping by and you guys just keep staying in this state of like the past okay so that's like more of the energy that i'm afraid of for you and that's why i'm just saying like it's kind of like a band-aid like get back on that bike <laughs> you know what i mean and you have somebody that the divine has brought for you that is a soulmate that's trying to help you out so i know it's gonna be uncomfortable for you guys i know it's not gonna be easy but i think the divine is opening up a path for you and you should take that path okay well, let's pull you guys some advice okay. 
Okay, so I really feel you. I haven't had Yeji Zogyal come out in a very long time. Um, Lady of the Lotus Born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. I feel like this card is coming in for you guys because they want you to know that. I think for a long time you guys haven't wanted to be in your body. Like you wanted to be somebody else or you wanted this bad shit to have happened to somebody else and you just kind of wish that like you could have maybe lived a different life in a sense, right? Like, oh, like that just never happened to me or oh, um, like I don't want to remember this. Um, but they're saying here and I feel like this is tying in with the book that your body, yeah, it experienced a lot of pain perhaps and it experienced a lot of like a lot of hard times, right? Let's just call it that, right? Let's not get into it, but it's experienced a lot of hard times. But at the same time, your body, like, it remembers that in a sense. And I think that's that's your cop-out, but it actually should be your... Like, instead of it being your excuse, it could actually be your power. It could actually be your strength. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of viewing it in a way of like, oh my God, like, my body is like full of this pain and this hurt and this shit that happened in the past it'll never like be wiped off and I'll, I'll never be clean of it it'll just always remain there I think they're trying to say like that's actually your strength that's actually your power the fact that like yeah this did happen to you and you're still like this sacred vessel walking around the earth you know what I'm saying and the fact that like you didn't die you know what I'm saying and you didn't give up and you're still here to this day and you're still moving forward and you still have a lot of shit going for you do you get what I'm saying so it's like maybe taking this instead of making it like a negative to take it and make it a positive okay so I really feel like I want to read a little part of the book to you guys it says you guys use the cult to remember the holiness of your flesh the deep wisdom your body contains and the temple you walk around in every day and what helps you remember that your body is sacred so again I think Exactly. It's like instead of viewing this all as something that, you know, I, I get like trauma, right? Like trauma gets stuck in the body. And maybe that's something that you're feeling like it's stuck there. But in my in my eyes, in my opinion, especially with these two cards coming out, I think you guys have actually been able to maybe unblock that and maybe if you're not you haven't unblocked that trauma yet you're about to and maybe this person is a helpful key to this so again i wouldn't like get into a relationship if you're like a toxic piece of shit obviously not we all know like where we stand with like our health and and how we've been healing but i actually do think a lot enough time has like passed that you can actually unblock the trauma that you've been holding on to within by just releasing it and letting go and like moving on do you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's what I'm getting, Leo. I hope that this helps you guys. I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.